Okay, since there's been so much uh, talk about uh, cylinder cooling over the years, I never really knew for sure what was right and what was wrong. I decided it's pretty much time to find out. So here's my setup. Got a little jig here. It's got a fan. It's got a little uh, heating element. And it's fastened down. So a cylinder barrel fits over it. It can't move around so it's going to be in the same place every time. And I have a little cover. I'll put this over the cylinder to basically keep the heat in. Here's a hollow head bolt. I'll be screwing that in the center hole. And then I have a thermocouple. It senses the temperature right at the tip of the thermocouple. And it reads out on this gauge right here. So as you can see, my shop temperature right now is 68 degrees. And to start with, the first barrel I'm going to check is an 850 barrel. And it is uh, been stripped of all paint. So it's raw cast iron. It's got a fresh hone inside. So it's nice and clean. Second barrel is another 850 barrel. And it has a coating of Thermotech heat dissipating black. The expensive NASA stuff that's supposed to get rid of heat better. And in the past, my experience with the Thermotech out on the road, it seemed to do a good job or it seemed to help a little but it was never ever very well controlled because you never know what the wind is and how hard you're cranking it and this kind of stuff so decided I'd just set up this little test and uh, see what happens so here's the barrel sitting in there thermocouple goes down the head bolt which is insulated so that it doesn't uh, isn't cooled by the wind. Heating element is glowing red hot down in the center. I'm going to put the cover on it and basically keep an eye on the temperature. It says 69 right now. And I'll give it an hour to warm things up. And okay, we're back in an hour. Barrel temperature seems to have stabilized at 109. It's been sitting at 108 to 109 for about the last oh, 15 minutes. After I started the last test, I decided I should cover this board to keep the air from doing any cooling down inside there. Here's our elements still red hot. So basically I'm going to tear this down and I'm going to set up this barrel. Which is uh, got the Thermotech coating. And while this test is running, I'll uh, be letting the uh, freshly powder coated barrel that's about done in my oven cool off and I'll be checking it.
So here's the Thermotec barrel setup. Elements on. Covers on. We're reading 72. And it's 519. So I'll come back in an hour and see what the temperature of this barrel is. All right, we're back at 620. So the Thermotec barrel has been running now for about an hour. And the temperature has leveled off at 111, where it's been for quite some time. I'd say that's pretty good. Cools almost as well as bare cast iron. So now we'll set up with the uh, powder coated barrel and see how it does. So here we are with the powder coat barrel. Room temperature still hanging there at 68 degrees. Heating element is on. Covers on. And it's 627. So we'll be back in about an hour and see what it says. Okay, it's 728 or so, and uh, I have a, a shocker. Here's the powder coat barrel. Room temperature hasn't changed. Ouch. The uh, element is nice and hot, and so is the cover. And the barrel temperature is 107 degrees. <laughs> So, I guess uh, maybe a uh, powder coat uh, cools pretty well. So, I guess I'll be taking this barrel out and I'll go to the next barrel. And this barrel is uh, the first barrel that was tested. And it's got about... Uh, three medium coats of stoving enamel on it. And it's been baked hard. And I'll set it up and give it a try. So here's the enamel coated barrel. Elements hot. It's 7.32. We'll be back in an hour or so and uh, see how it's doing. Okay, here we are back at 8.30. The enameled barrel is in the tester.
Temperature sitting at 106 to 107, something like that. And uh, since I'm a bit skeptical, of the uh, powder coated barrel result I decided since it was prepared slightly different as far as the bore in other words the powder coated barrel had a used bore that I had just brushed up with a bottle hone so I went ahead and run it with the straight hone and gave it a fresh surface and then finished it with a bottle hone like the rest of the cylinders. And I'm going to put it back on and uh, I'm going to try it again and just see if it uh, actually still seems to cool as well. So here we are with the powder coat barrel back in place. Heating element is uh, on. Covers back in place. Room temperatures hanging there somewhere 68 or so. And the barrel is starting to warm up. And it's 8.33. I'll be back in an hour or so and uh, see if the powder coated barrel is still as cool as it was before. Okay, our hour's up. And we've got the powder coated barrel in here. After I roughened up the bore with an AN100 stone and then run a brush hone through it again so that it's prepped identical to the first two barrels. And it made a little bit of difference. But it still cools really well. Next barrel I'm going to test is going to be a barrel that is uh, coated with uh, VHT silver paint. And this is the high temperature paint that I was always cautioned against using on a barrel. We'll just see what happens. Well, as it turned out, the VHT barrel is still hot from baking in the oven so I decided I'd go ahead and uh, put the second barrel or excuse me the yes the second barrel with the Thermotech heat rejecting coating on it back in just to see if the results are the same and it's on and beginning to warm up and it's 9.35 and I'll be back to check it in an hour okay we're back with the second test on the Thermotech coating and as you can see it's just pretty much came out about the same as the first time one thing I have 
noticed is it doesn't seem to make much difference what the coating on the barrel is whether it's Thermotec, enamel or powder coat all seems to run about the same temperature with the little bit of variation that I'm seeing seems to go along with the room temperature if the room temperature goes up a degree or two the barrel temperature goes up a degree or two and that's about the biggest difference I'm seeing so far and next test I'm going to uh, put the silver barrel to test and we'll see what happens with it so here's the silver barrel in place the heating element is on it's slowly raising the temperature and it's 1026 I'll be back in about an hour just to see what it looks like okay we're back an hour later this is the barrel with the silver VHT header paint on it and looks like the room temperature has dropped about four degrees and the barrel temperature is dropped four degrees or five degrees so what I'm taking away from this is it doesn't seem to make a darn bit of difference what kind of paint or coating is on the barrel or what color it is they all seem to cool about the same in this test the barrel temperature definitely varies with the room temperature but it doesn't seem to vary at all with the type of coating that's on it one thing I've noticed if I check the temperature of the barrel with my little infrared gate meter it seems to be about go right along with my temperature probe right up here near the probe but if I check it back here out of the airflow here we've got 133 degrees 135 degrees so the back of the barrel definitely gets a lot hotter than the front of the barrel so uh, it certainly doesn't uh, conduct the heat real well but anyway thanks for watching